When Alex Forrest takes in Lake Tahoe, he appreciates its vast beauty. One of the things that's truly unique is the clarity of the water. But the UC Davis researcher also knows this stunning Sierra landscape is changing. This summer, we hit record temperatures for the surface temperature of Lake Tahoe uh, ever. With a surface area of 191 square miles, Lake Tahoe's scale could hold the cities of Sacramento, Folsom, Roseville, and Rockland. Hey, Jasmine, if you can go ahead and launch the mission. But Forrest hopes it may also hold new insights about climate change. Long-term climate change is making, and human effects are making an impact on the lake. And when I say impact, it's not just changing the clarity like we always talk about, but it's changing the dynamics of the ecosystem. The For the there. Tahoe Environmental the Research Center, your job is not to let go of the frame. Understanding takes a fresh perspective. You ready to go? And a new robot. So on the count of three, one, two, three. Deploying an autonomous underwater vehicle, otherwise known as a glider. Making measurements like this are extremely important, uh, particularly as the lake changes. But unlike self-propelled autonomous vehicles, this robot is only using the momentum of buoyancy. So we'll continuously seesaw, or what we call yo-yo, through the water column. Coasting 150 meters beneath the surface. And now we sit and wait. Back and forth across the lake to learn better than ever before. But right now it's collecting data at about one or two times per second. Even during conditions too dangerous for humans. The advantage of using this uh, as compared to going out with a boat and doing sampling like that, traditional style sampling, is that this is able to come up, up and do work continuously, even during big storm events. Alex and the glider just returning from studying unforgiving terrain, Antarctica's melting ice shelves. This ice shelves were recently in the news as a result of Larsen C breaking off, but that's just one of many ice shelves that are at risk in both the Arctic and the Antarctic. Resilient technology, now working to record climate change right in our backyard. Monitoring that ongoing change is of critical importance.